One of the reasons that Archa's revolutionized building was due to the fact that the use of a keystone redirects gravitational thrust outward and downward. Unlike a post and lintel structure where the force is straight down, this redirection will allow much more weight on top of a structure if there's adequate side reinforcement or a continual series of arches known as an arcade. Look at this keystone arch in Segovia, Spain. The Romans adapted this building technique where this keystone at the center directs the force of the gravity outward and downward. The Romans adapted this building technique and created almost unimaginably large structures. This Segovian aqueduct, which dates from about the year 90, is incredibly strong as the keystone redistributes the forces and it runs for nearly 11 miles. That's 17 kilometers. as it continues with this repeating arcade pattern seen from a distance. This basic technique was used throughout the Roman world in bridges, aqueducts, this one's in France rather than Spain, and you can see the channel where the water was carried. and of course in Roman arenas. After Rome, the keystone became a powerful enabler for large projects, like this mosque in Spain, or this piazza from the Middle Ages.